Tel Aviv, young, secular and cosmopolitan, in a country becoming more intolerant as it turns further to the right, it seems out of step with Israel's mood. Shankin Street is where the young and hip hang out, like 24-year-old Orly, who works in a clothes shop. Basically, it's like a village where you've got friends living everywhere. The capital of culture, I think. You think? I think. It's the capital of nightlife. But which party will Orly vote for? I don't okay, know, do you want to talk about policy? Okay, go on. No, 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 no politica. This is a bubble, <laughs> you know, Tel Aviv. <laughs> the bubble. It's far from the missiles, and it also feels a long way away here from the rhetoric of the political campaign. It's hard for many here to feel that Israel was recently at war. What seems to matter most is the good life. At Time Out Israel, the weekly editorial meeting is in full swing. They're brainstorming ideas about vibrators for their Valentine's Day issue. The magazine has a special section called The Bubble, but its editor, Mikhail, says that Tel Avivis are not as indifferent to the problems of their country as their reputation. The Gaza uh, situation, uh, what happened last month, people went right with their political identities. But not so much here in Tel Aviv? No, exactly the opposite. In Tel Aviv, people went left. Dov Hanin, a Knesset member for the left-wing Hadesh party, has come to speak to a young group of Tel Avivis in one of their apartments. The party calls itself the New Left and it's expecting its best performance ever in these elections. Tel Aviv is a, a very open city, people with a critical uh, attitude to uh, society, to uh, the, the problems of Israeli society and Israeli situation. Dov has been taking his message to the bars of the bubble. He believes the young people he talks to are vital to Israel's social and political future. Oh, I really do not uh, agree with this idea of a bubble. Tel Aviv is not a bubble at all. It is part of Israeli society. Uh, as a matter of fact, it is a very important part of Israeli society. You know, uh, possibilities that can uh, be created here in Tel Aviv today uh, will be created in Israel at large tomorrow or on the day after tomorrow. Dov's not the only politician to hit Tel Aviv's night spots in an attempt to woo the youth vote. Dance? No. Yes. Really? Oh my god. Thanks God I didn't, you know, see that. <laughs> like an auntie dancing around a exactly. handbag at a wedding. <laughs> <laughs>